a famous rock star's jam session with a singer leads to a ride in a tank and a singer at gunpoint. Sounds crazy? <gasps> yes, it does, but it's true, so here's the story. Way back when lead singer of Limp Bizkit, Fred Durst, whose guitar player had just quit their band, was at a party. A record label executive suggested the two get together and do something. Which it said Fred Durst first laughed and said yeah right, the greatest guitar player in the world plays with the worst band ever, but this great rock star says F it let's do it, they get together and start playing at Durst's home until the people start doing some illicit drugs. this causes the late great Eddie Van Halen to decide to leave immediately leaving his equipment at Durst's home. What happens next is the crazy part. Eddie tries calling Fred Durst the next day but supposedly Durst ignores his calls. This obviously sends Mr. Van Halen into a rage. He jumps into his less-than-street legal tank and drives through Beverly Hills to Durst's home and greets him at the door at gunpoint demanding his equipment back, and got it back very quickly. It was said that Eddie pulled up in his tank and when he got out, he was wearing jeans with a rope for the belt a pair of combat boots and no shirt. Now I am guessing he went up and knocked on the door. And when Fred Durst opened the door, he was met with a weapon to the head. Story goes that Eddie said I put my gun to his little red hat and he told him he came to get his stuff back. Sounded to me like he not only got his stuff back but Fred Durst must have even loaded it up for him. Service with a smile.